This year we were introduced to a new community called Tarnate in Cavite, uh, where we also did notebook evangelism. And this area is commonly known as the armpit of Cavite. This place is one of the four places in Cavite. It is basically where the displaced people from all over the Philippines usually go. commodities from the government don't usually get there. The water here is scarce and uh, drinking water is uh, hard to find sometimes. We'll, we'll see uh, the, the disparity of, of being poor and being really poor. Uh, also children here, they, they, they enroll in school but in the middle or early in the school year, they, 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 they stop going to school because they can't afford it. Although this education is free, but they can't afford the everyday food and everyday need in, in school. Uh, what the private organizations does is we pull our, 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 our resources together just to give them at least one, one potable deep well. But still, it's not that safe. You know? uh, we try the water here. It's it's it, it, it's different. It's kind of slimy with salty things. You know? The thinking of the, the people here is that some of the young people as early as 13, 14, 15, they want to get married to, to a man twice their age because they think that um, they can escape poverty through when uh, if they get married early. So what happens is that uh, it's a cycle, vicious cycle of poverty and then every year they, they bear children that's why it's an average of five children per family. Uh, that was last year. I think this year it has grown to seven. A church we partnered with, Abundant Life Christian Ministries, has a branch there in Tarnate. Uh, they have a, an area in the community where they hold Bible studies and the, the congregation is growing. Uh, you can really see the fruit of what is happening there. 